Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon. And I'm here today to do a flip through of this custom Marie Antoinette book that I made for a customer that um, I've created for before. She's just a super sweet lady. And um, she requested minty green and Marie and um, just pretty, pretty, pretty. And so for me, I was, um, yes, please. <laughs> I absolutely love these colors and the good news is when I created this book I actually um, made three babies <laughs> so that'll be in my next video coming up uh, but I thought I would show you the video of the first original one because it's so spectacular and because it's going to be shipped to its new home, I wanted to just leave a um, record of it here because I love the way it came out, um, especially this cover piece. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Um, this is on, well, let me just start with this book first and foremost. Let me start quickly by just telling you the measurement. I think it's five by seven. Yeah. And it's uh, composed of heavy book board. So this is extreme, very sturdy, um, very sturdy book board. She wanted lots of minty greens to go with this absolutely gorgeous um, armor piece that she had um, sent me a picture of. And so I love this color palette, the blues and everything. So that was just um, so inspiring for me. Um, I did add a beauty behind Marie just for some extra added interest on the cover, but it's a really light damask pattern. I did some stenciling. Um, I have a little crown wax seal. And then this image is so gorgeous, I love it. And I attached it to a pretty thick piece of chipboard. This is probably about maybe seven millimeters thick. So it's like a little plaque. And of course, I covered it in a matte finish, edged it in gold, and I just love the way that came out. It's like a really cool, um, uh, yeah, it's just a plaque is the best word for me to use to describe it. Um, use these gorgeous aqua ribbons. Um, this is a rose gifted to me from Debrina. I just wanna point that out because it's so pretty. And then down here are some glass charms, this really fun sparkly bead, um, the greens, the minty greens, and this is an, actually a vintage earring here. And then I attached this gorgeous button, super sparkly. And then over here is a German glass bead, the whole, or a um, button, the whole button is glass. It's so pretty. It's not really sparkling in this lighting as it is in real, but it's really, really beautiful. And I sewed the button onto this ribbon here and then attached to this vintage trim here. And then I stitched in gold all the way around, added the velvet here. And then just so you know, the owner, if she's watching, that this is a pocket behind here and you can tuck some letters back there. Um, and just, yeah, have some fun. Uh, inside on the cover, I just went through my, um, you know, collection of papers and just tried to find ones that were so pretty that would go with this theme. And um, I just love the way this book came out. Like this page right here is so gorgeous. Um, this is the January 1st French postcard, one of my favorite images. And then I had this pretty lavender leftover piece from the lavender kit. And then these are just papers that I, digital papers that I have in my uh, collection. Little wax seal of a rose, some minty green sari and a pretty sparkly bit there. And how I work, you know, if I find something that's beautiful, I go ahead and glue it. I don't think too much. I just try to, um, use beautiful things and yeah make the book interesting 
so that it takes you away. And of course, give you lots of papers and things to journal on. Write your story, etc. Fun little um, minty green trim that I have here. Some more lace. A little pocket here with some scrap papers. My shoes I love. Little piece of wall uh, wallpaper here that I made into a pocket. And this is some silk, um, striped silk. A little aqua tassel here. Some beautiful fringe and then of course some swans because they just looked so, as soon as I put this in here, I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful. They were meant to be there. <laughs> um, no Marie book is complete without a gorgeous um, regal perfume label. And then I decorated it with some leaves, added another little tassel. No, that's the same one. Oops, sorry, same one. <laughs> um, yeah, some gorgeous imagery, just some fun little things to play with. Lots of little charms, little tuck spots here, this gorgeous French postcard. Lots of trims. Um, there's a very light um, gold splatter you can kind of see very light some fabric swatches up here one of my favorite little images a beautiful um anna griffin paper here with some more digital papers this gorgeous little crown earring piece was gifted to me by debrina also <laughs> i just love it love it look at this beautiful paper gorgeous pinks Pink and aqua together are just positively dreamy. And that's really the heart of this book is just the pink and the aqua with the roses. So feminine, so pretty. More Anna Griffin paper here. You don't really have to do anything to her papers. They're so gorgeous. And they're double-sided, which is fun. So I just attached some washi here so that you can put maybe a little picture of a pet back there. I can see that. Um, this is a um, die cut of a pretty frame. Again, another little picture there would look so sweet. And I liked how it, it went right through the binder rings. I like the binder rings because you can flip through any part of this book and work flat. And you can open them, you can take things out, add papers in, um, it lends, it's just, I love it. Um, yeah. Uh, beautiful wallpaper, some more beauties, journaling cards to go inside. Oh, no, wait, they go here. And then this is a nice size pocket. The wallpaper on one side and beautiful um, paper on the other. A sweet little um, button with a bow on it. And then in the pocket, is a gorgeous rose um the color's so pretty um a gorgeous rose postcard in there of course i stitched with the gold thread and then here's just a digital um gorgeous digital floral that i printed on the linen paper this is from the pixie dust files so pretty and then some more um, digitals. Sweet little shoe that I decorated with pearls. Little wax seal of a bow. Gorgeous papers. This is from the Graphics Fairy. And then I just made a little ruffle out of this minty lace that I have from my mom's studio. This side here made, <coughs> excuse me, made a little, um, oops, made a little, um, belly band with this beautiful blue lace it's so delicate and so pretty um and i put a big pe uh, picture of marie in here um, pictures would go really well in there especially behind the lace um, i just put a few little fun things in there um, this side here another little ruffle a pretty little cameo so feminine um, these books i just have so much fun building I never get tired of these books and the um there's just the imagery, the gorgeous things that um 
are out there to work with like this beautiful pre-raphaelite um i think this was from a calendar it's so pretty and then i just paired it with this gorgeous lace some rhinestones a pretty seam binding bow and it's actually a little tuck spot so i put this really pretty rose um card in there and then i made a little um a little coin envelope to stuck, uh, stick some little goodies in there so sweet so pretty and of course room for more uh, this side here is more anna griffin paper and then i just put this really fun chiffon flower on there another little coin envelope love these different rows um uh, papers all together it makes it so pretty a little wax seal of a cameo and then just some more roses this is just a little card that I added to the pages and it's got a quote from a Jane Austen novel on there little pocket here with some more beautiful um, reprints and ephemera pieces here's my favorite English wallpaper Oh, excuse me. And then this gorgeous rose paper. I just added some little stickers here at the bottom and a dress form. And then a beautiful perfume label. Every page has something beautiful on there. Um, and then this is actually a little pocket that's not stitched though, but in the pocket, I gave you another piece of this beautiful wallpaper. And then a little, a sweet little girl. I just love those colors. And there's lots of room in this pocket for more. Pretty minty bow on the side. And this really pretty blue lace down here at the bottom. And then this side is just this gorgeous sewing pattern paper. And then I added a little um, sequiny little flower, some seam binding and a rose. And then this side here is a little perfume label with a gorgeous Marie in the color palettes. Another one of the postcards. This is from a, a Tsunami Rose. A little perfume label and just some trims. And then I just wanted to make sure I added some beautiful florals. And I didn't do anything because they really um, just speak for themselves. Um, this side here, I did have a little fun. I made this really pretty little mint green charm. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's just really sweet and pretty. Some more of that sari silk. And then just a collection of roses in the blues. Beautiful rose pattern here. And then I thought this um, wallpaper went really well with this collection. This is the gold and the aqua. So gorgeous, I love it. And so I made it like a little photo stop. I added all these ribbons for drama. And then I thought a photo right here would be so pretty. So I will leave that up to the new owner. And then I just attached some uh, antique laces on the bottom. This is a giant button card from Sam Poole. And I did sew all those buttons on there, but I love it. It's such a beautiful, um, it's just such a beautiful statement. I love it. And it's a, it's a pocket. Let me just push this down so you can see. I love these ladies. So I put one of them in there and then here's another piece of this gorgeous rose wallpaper. And lots of room for more in there. This is one of Sam Poole's digitals. I absolutely love it. Another little journaling card from the Jane Austen collection. And this gorgeous Vogue. I think I got that off of Pinterest. I love it. And the colors were right. Another little, um, just trims. Another little pocket. Sweet little things tucked away in here for you to play with. Some perfume labels, all in the minties. Um, and then this is almost the end here, the last page. I sewed on with the gold thread this little um, uh, 
um, sample card and some vintage grow grain. This little tassel I had hanging around just needed a home, so I put that there. And then I added some more just things from my stash that fit with the color palette. Some pretty lace up here. And um, to end with, just a few more um, pieces of ephemera. A giant paper clip because I always like to add that with these larger books. I think I might put this over here because this paper is so pretty. I didn't want to cover up this paper. And then here's the envelope. I always like to give an envelope for extra bits and things for you. Um, and that concludes this flip through. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This book is so absolutely beautiful that I knew I had to do a video of it so that I could really just showcase all the beautiful things um, that just made it what it is. And um, stay tuned because the three mini versions of this book are coming up next. So have a really great night. Follow me on Instagram at Under the Night Moon. Subscribe to my channel here and like the um, videos would help me grow my channel a little bit. Uh, but other than that, just thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.